Hey, our model 120 here, and yes, you are looking at the cardboard box of a computer case. I will be building a extreme budget PC right now. Uh, this is for my parents. Their computer died. You might be able to see in the background. I think it's actually behind this box. It's under that. Uh, yeah, that thing back there. Uh, wait, wait, let me get point to it. There is their old computer. So, uh, building a $200 replacement. Uh, all parts bought at Micro Center, and uh, I'm just going to do a quick, vi uh, well, not really quick, this will probably be like an hour video of uh, me building it. I have built a couple computers before, uh, I've built two completely, and I replaced motherboard on one, so I do have some experience in this, and I've actually built this exact same computer before, so I know what I'm doing. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to open up and get the case out, it's a good place to start. I definitely did not cut. I cut through that. Wow, it's ex I'm not good at with scissors. As you see, I almost cut myself. Always cut towards yourself. You don't want to risk that random air around you. The air did nothing. You, on the other hand, you should suffer for your for your mistakes. Okay, this is open. The scissors up on my bed. And this is a really good case. Uh, Thirty-five dollars right now. It has a uh, ten dollar. Uh, mail in rebate, and it comes with it's a Diablo Tech, and it comes with a 35 or 450 watt power supply. So you're not gonna beat this for the price. So uh, quick, just quick note: using a webcam, a crappy webcam to record, using a super high end headset for audio, weird combination. Yes. Okay, that's out of there. Got the uh, manual. Shouldn't need this too much. Manual. Shouldn't need this too much since I've used this case before. Got some styrofoam on the case. Let's just get that off. There's some plastic. Uh, find the opening at the bottom. That actually makes sense. And let's get that out. Put that back in the box. Something in here is loose. I'm assuming it's just the cables. This way this uh, case works. Everything you need is like in the case. But it doesn't come with any fans. But a fan you can get for like 4 bucks for 120 millimeter. So I bought two fans. I'll be mounting one here on this uh, lower door, the lower door opening. We're mounting one up here on the X, on obviously here. This is where they belong. Uh, just because uh, for only really need two, and that's gonna be the best airflow I'm gonna get out of it. Uh, there's no front, there's no place to mount them on the front on this case, but it's a budget case and it's pretty good. It does what it does very well. So uh, it's kind of weird. It's got uh, thumb screws on the main side, but the secondary side you actually have to use a screwdriver. Just built with this uh, two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. So still fresh. That was a tight one. I'm gonna set these where I won't lose them. I'm set them on top of my computer, which I also built. Okay, so the way this works, let's change the angle a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see that back a little bit. Uh, here's all the screws you can uh, This includes the uh, standoffs, uh, hard drive mount, and speaker for because you have issues. I uh, This has a weirdest mounting hard drive I've ever seen. If I remember how to do it, I'll be surprised, but uh, we'll get there eventually. I'm set on top of the chair. Okay, got the power supply. It's uh, top mounted, which I don't particularly like. That's what it is. And then your uh, power cable is zip tied itself. Not zip tied, uh, twist tie, whatever itself into here. Get that out. Another computer, save all of these. Great for cable management later. You're going to want them. Set this up here. And uh, we're going to get that back side off soon. Uh, let's do that now. Uh, these are the front USB headers. This comes with uh, some front audio and some front USB. Just some pretty standard stuff. And then these, which are a pain. You have to do everything by hand, I've, which it will take a little while. But if you've done it before, it's not too bad. Let's get this back side off. Flip it around. I have my screwdriver, or my dad's screwdriver set right here. We'll get the appropriate size out. Maybe I'll remember what it is. All I know is I need this. I think it was in one of these. No, it was just a normal screwdriver. I think these will probably work. Let's see if this works. I just 
like it'll work fine. So I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. It's a little overkill. Need this one. Snap this into place. Just gonna set this up here for right now with the scissors. And uh, this should be the right size. Let's get this back off. Okay. Got started and take it off by hand. Don't want to lose them. I'm gonna put these with the uh, with the other uh, back mount screws. It's out. It's up here. I'm just gonna slide this off. Just a little pull, and it's off. Uh, we'll set this. Where is it? The other panel, right here. Okay, so I'm together. And uh, we're not gonna be using any expansion slots in this build at all. So it's a little different. Okay, let's get this back down. Uh, probably not the best to do it on carpeting. I'm gonna see if I can use. I'm actually just gonna rest it on its own panel right now, just so the motherboard doesn't come in contact with carpeting while I'm mounting it. Uh, next, I'm gonna open up the. Uh, actually, for right now, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Grab the motherboard. Get the CPU in there. Uh, what we're using is a Celeron, thirty-five dollars. That's a hard drive. <laughs> Here's the motherboard. We'll start with that. Motherboard is a Gigabyte uh, H61MDS2. Uh, just a cheap uh, MATX1155 motherboard. Perfect for the Celeron. Comes with two of these uh, uh, SATA cables. One is a one has one right angle on it. Uh, I know from experience that I want to use that on the DVD drive. Set these up here for right now. Uh, here's the rear I.O. shield. Let me just pop that in real quick, show you how to do that. I, I'm going to assume that most of you know how. Uh, so what you do, take the computer, let's put it like this. I don't know if you can see that or not. I feel like you might be able to. I'm going to assume you can. So what you do right here, you want to open this up, just in a kind of like just a standard, really plastic packaging, cheap plastic, easy to open. I'm throwing all my trash into this box for right now. It comes out. You want the uh, prongs that are sticking out to be on the inside. So you're going to, oh, the prongs are sticking out. Sorry, I'm used to camera being up higher. Prongs sticking out on the inside. It's just going to mount in like this. Make sure it makes sense, like with the motherboard. Uh, the audio holes, which usually is either three or six, are always going to be on the lower part of the case. So just remember that. And all you have to do with this is just push it until it clicks in. There we go. Click, click. Click. Just push it all the way around. Make sure it's in securely. Okay, that's in. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to use this as a uh, place to put the motherboard as I open it. Where did I set the motherboard? Okay, it's still over here. Lost the motherboard for a second. That would have been bad. So it's in a anti-static bag. Uh, it's for protection. I would recommend trying to make sure you don't make static touch the metal. You know, put this over. A little tape on the back of the anti-static bag. I'm just going to use the scissors and get that open. Okay, anti-static bag is open. Okay, don't want to fry anything. Just touch it as really as little as possible on anything important. Uh, actually, rest it on top of the antiseptic bag. Put it there. And now you can see it. Okay, what we're going to do now is try to make a little more room for me. Uh, first step, I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to get the processor out actually. If I can find it in here. That's it. Yep. So it is a Celeron, uh, the G550. I think it's one of the higher end Celerons. 35 bucks for a Intel processor. This computer isn't going to be doing any gaming. It's replacing a 10-year-old HP that finally died after a power surge. This really isn't replacing anything, doing anything major at all. This will be more than enough. Uh, when I, I used, had this on a Windows 8 build for my aunt, and it was flying. I expect you to see my Windows 7. Cut this open. I'm going to be careful with scissors. The processor. Usually the processor is going to be very expensive and you'd be scared to like cut around it. This one I really don't care about since it's only $35. Okay. Put the scissors up without stabbing myself or cutting my shirt. Brand new shirt. My third or fourth of these shirts. 
Okay, got this open now. We're going to slide out this. The way this works is there's a menu on there which we don't really care about. And we have the processor itself. So what we're going to use first. It, uh, I believe it just, it doesn't slide out. I think you just pull it up. Yep. Just pull it up through this little, it's in the side here. You pull it up and out. And just leave that in there. There's thermal paste already applied. For this build, I'm just going to use what's already applied. I don't have my Arctic Silver with me, so that's another reason. Okay, now I'm going to open this up and remove the uh, socket protector. You want to keep this. You don't want to lose this. This is uh, protects the pins on the, the board. I'm just going to put this one in here and see if it's secure in there. Probably not. No. I'll, I'll remember it's in here. Okay. So I'm going to open the processor itself. It's actually pretty heavy. It looks a lot lighter than... It looks a lot... It's a lot heavier than it looks. I just realized that. Okay, so you want to line it up. It's pretty easy. It only goes in one way. You have to push it in. You're doing it wrong. Don't push it in. You will break it. So grab it only on the edges. Be very careful with it. Very expensive, usually, not in this case. This would be a great build to practice on because there's really no high risk components. Let's throw this in here. Okay, so there is a notch on each side, one here and one here. And there are notches on the uh, on the socket. You just drop it in so they line up. And see, just line up, it won't really move. You're going to take your torsion bar, make sure it gets, you're going to pull it back. I, last time I did this, so I was confused. Make sure that the claws get underneath this uh, screw here. I'm just going to close it. There's going to be some force here. You're going to hold it in place. Don't really touch the top of the processor. That's not good. You're going to close it like that, and that's in. Next, you're going to take out this. Uh, this is really loose in there. Probably not a good idea. The uh, cover, but set it over here for right now. Okay, so this is the stock heat sink. Uh, good enough for this build, guaranteed. Uh, so what you do, what I like to do, is first to get the wire out, and I like to see where the plug for the, uh, where the plug for the, uh, CPU cooler is on the motherboard. It will say CPU fan right here, it's the, on this motherboard, it's right there. So what we're going to do is, uh, I like to find the best angle, so I have the least amount. I recommend keeping the plastic on while you're doing this. You don't accidentally get uh, plastic everywhere. So I found the best angle. I want to mount it like this. And I'm ready. I'm going to remove the plastic like that. Get rid of it. Throw it in here for right now. Thermal paste. Do not touch this. You're going to have to redo thermal paste if you do. You want to try to get this down in one shot if you can. It's the best if you do. So what you're going to do is you want to line up the holes with the uh, prongs. And once you're down, you want to keep it down, and you're going to push opposites. It should click into place. And now it's in. As you can see, they've all come through the back uh, just a little bit, which means they are in. And now you're going to take this, the little CPU fan. Look down on the motherboard where it says CPU fan. only fits in one way. And that's in. So that step's done. Now I'm going to insert the RAM before I actually insert them on the board itself. It makes things easier later. So let me get my RAM out. We're using 4 gigs of uh, 1066 megahertz. Uh, what are we using? We're using Crucial. Here it is. 4 gigs of... Uh, what I said. 4 gigs... DDR3, yep. I can't actually see because uh, uh, sales associate put a stick right over it, but I'm going to assume this is the correct RAM. So uh, this just opens up by itself. Just gotta get your fingernail underneath and just lift it apart. In store, they have these in special things. You can't just open them up in store. Okay, so take each DIM module out carefully. Not like I'm doing it. Try not to touch it. And uh, you just want to line up the. First, you want to open up these on each side. Make sure they're open. 
I'm going to do is line up with the uh, notch in the slot. Make sure it's lined up. Everything's good. Then push down. Okay, I think my uh, headset automatically turned itself off there. Let me just uh, reconfigure it. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think because no audio was going in, only mic noises, it decided to turn itself off, which is not a good thing. I got issue again later, but uh, anyway, as I don't know what you heard, make sure the RAM is lined up. And you're just going to push it into place, and each side should pop up like that. And do the same thing with the second module. Uh, if you're only using one mod, if you're only using one dim, it should tell you which uh, slot you should use. Usually, it's one farther away from the motherboard, uh, from the CPU. It's a main slot, and secondary, and most uh, full-size boards, ATX boards, will have uh, four slots, so not just two. So once again, just line it up, and then push down, and you're in. So the RAM is done, the CPU's in, that's all good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up by the CPU. Not the best idea. I think they used a lower profile heat sink than the last one I had. It just looks a little different. Hold it without touching anything. I'm gonna get rid of this anti-static bag. I'm gonna put it in here. I love anti-static bags. I'm gonna move the case over here. Ow, that hurts. It's probably not the best angle to be doing this at. I'm gonna force all the power supply wires up into the uh, 5.25 inch bays for the moment. Uh, just get them out of the way. I'm gonna force these over here. Just get everything out of the way. Uh, it's easy because I'm only using MATX case and not a full size. So I'm just gonna hold onto the uh onto the cool onto the uh CPU. And one thing I didn't do yet, which is really a bad thing, so I gotta keep this handy. So you wanna make sure you get your uh your standoffs in the right spot. I remember how to do this. I had to move two from down here and that was it. So let me just try to get these. But they were insanely tight last time. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot get these off by hand. Uh, luckily with the screwdriver set, I do have some heads that can. I believe it's going to be this one. It's going to be able to get into these and actually turn them. This one's too big. Uh, in that case, it should be this one. You actually get into these heads, into the uh, standoffs. Nope, still too big. I uh, don't think it's a little one, but I can try it. So I'm just going to spin inside, I think. Yeah, that one's too loose. Look for some more. We're having this issue last time. Okay. Ow, kneeing on the carpet for a while hurts. Kneeling, not kneeing. That was stupid. These are just a pain. I don't remember what I used. I remember if I used pliers or what. But this was really a pain. Let me try this one again, see if I can get it to actually sit in there. And yeah, that's not going to turn. This one should at least get in there. Nope, nothing. So with this case, this is the most difficult part. I'm going to try mounting either anyway, though. Set this uh, regular bit I'm using there and try this one and see if I can get this to work. Remember, I have to move this one. Nothing, yeah, I'm gonna need pliers. Uh, do I have any pliers? Don't think I do. There's something else in here that might work. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't see anything. I can try a Torx head, I don't know how well that's gonna work, but I can try it. Uh, leave this one. Okay, this actually fits in. A little too small of a bigger one. 
I think this one's gonna be too big, but I'll try it. It fits in there. Yeah, it's too big. So that's one problem with this case, the standoffs. Unnaturally tight, hardly anything you can do about it. At all. It's gonna have to uh, find some way to get these, at least two of the standoffs that are in the wrong spot loose, which, ow. Difficult to do, to say the least. Nope, not turning. Okay, I'm gonna have to go try to find pliers or something. I can tell right now that this is not going to work. Unless so it just happens to grab it, that would laugh so hard if the regular head just grabbed it and I didn't think it would. Okay. So one problem with this case, unnaturally tight standoffs. I believe all I do have to move though, uh, I forget exactly where, I'm gonna check real quick. I do have to move it to the top one there. Okay, so I need to move two of them, but moving those two is not going to be an easy feat. <sighs> no, those are not budging. I'm going to go try to find pliers or something that I can use. If I can use a scissors, a handle of the scissors. Something tells me no, but I'm going to try it anyway. Nope, I'm gonna need something a little bit more heavy duty than that. Uh, the audio should still work as I walk away, so uh, let me let me try doing that and see what I see what happens. Okay, I'm heading downstairs right now, looking for a pair of pliers. Dungeons of a wireless headset. All the way in my basement, still getting good reception. Let's open up this tool case that you can't even see. Oh, uh, they're too heavy duty. Oh, these might work. I think these will work. Yeah, these should work. Ah, let's get back to it. So by using this particular case, just be well aware of that. Okay, let's try these. Nope, still not turning. Did that turn? Okay, got one. And now, screwed into place. Which again, not easy thing, not an easy thing to do. Hand is plenty tight. I right, get this one. I think it's the easiest to get. I'm, doing, I'm just using pliers to loosen them because they are insanely tight. Probably gonna guess that a, a robot puts them in there, and because of that, they get weight heavier than they need to be. So have a pair, have tools ready if you're gonna be building a computer. Just be aware that there is a chance that you will need them. Okay. So now we found that, and I'm gonna I believe the standoff. There should be. I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna look in the packet of screws and figure out which ones are the standoff screws. Uh, looks like I can believe it's the square ones. Ones with the uh, like octagon head or hexagon heads. Yeah. I'm gonna open this very carefully. Not careful not to lose any screws. I'm gonna go dig in. Probably get the speaker out of the way. I want to use that screw now, so I'm gonna drop that back in there if I can. And fill out of the bag, obviously. Just to speak with everything else that I need. Okay, I just dropped that screw. Okay. There's, I believe this is one. No. I was gonna put them all, all into my hand. And I missed my hand. 
Let's see if I can find six of these. Of the right kind. One. And the kind I'm looking for. This kind of depends really on the motherboard. Not on the case and motherboard. Mostly the case. Kind. That's two. Three. Four. Five and six. Put the rest back in here for now, so I don't lose any. Just drop them in the bag. Okay. These are now back in the bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna get all these out of here. That's the proper amount. And I'm gonna get my screwdriver at the ready. Gonna need this, very important. So, uh, let's see, if I move it closer. I don't know how you're gonna be able to see this best. If you get really close. It's gonna be hard to see still. Okay, that's what we can be one of the best angles you're gonna get. I guess what we're gonna do is just drop another board in and go for it. I'm gonna keep this behind just for uh make sure no carpet gets through. Okay, now I'm lifting up the motherboard. Make sure everything's lined up. Drop it in carefully. It's a lot easier to do this with an MATX motherboard, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. So I'm gonna line it up and push it through. I want to just force it through the uh, rear I.O. Once you're through, that's a good sign. And, yep, I'm through. So now, grab the first of the screws, stick it on there, and just go for one of them. Preferably one that's easy to get to. I just dropped the screw. So, this is not, this is not magnetic, but this is not magnetic, but I'm gonna do my best to go get the stick. And where'd that screw go? And I don't see that screw. It's a piece of plastic in here for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna hold another one in place as I tilt this so the screw, wherever it is, falls. Okay, this is just terrible. If you do happen to drop a screw, try not to. It's my only advice. I hear it. Underneath the motherboard, I'm gonna take the motherboard. I'm gonna take the motherboard out real quick and try to find that screw. Okay, I don't see it anywhere on here. Set this back down. Maybe it fell onto this. No. I think I just lost a screw, but I'm pretty sure I heard it. So I'm just gonna look for another second. Is that it? No. I'm just gonna look around, try to find it. This part is kind of tedious at times, like when stuff like this happens. Pretty sure it's still in the uh, case. Just gonna look for a minute. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, I have no idea where that screw went, but I don't want to leave it in here. If it's underneath the motherboard or on the motherboard, that could end up really badly. So, I'll take the motherboard out one more time. Let's make sure it's nowhere near the motherboard. Okay, it is not on the motherboard. Which is a good thing. And the screw in the wrong spot, you could fry your motherboard. So if I hit it on, so really can't hear. Yeah, that screw is gone. Yeah, reposition, look for a little bit more. Yeah, I have no idea where that thing went. It dropped it in the case, what can I... If it didn't fall in the power supply, that'd be like the worst thing. Okay, that screw's gone. And that's how you lose a screw 
Recommend not doing that. We have extras, luckily. Make sure it's not anywhere where it shouldn't be. No, I do not see it anywhere, so I'm going to assume that it's not here anymore. It's gone. It's left this life. Okay, so carefully this time, put it into the uh, little hole. Do our best to line it up. Once you get it started, it should be pretty easy. Yep, we got one in. Oh, I have the rack. This is a ratcheting, uh, driver. You can't see a thing. Sorry about that. It's ratcheting the wrong way, but... Okay, one's in. Don't, don't over-tighten. You really don't want to tighten too much at the beginning, because you need to be able to get back in, in case something happens. Now, with that screw going, I'll have to pick another one out of the bag, which won't be easy, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Pay for your mistakes. So I'm going to try not to uh, get the screw anywhere, but on the, into the hole, but sometimes it's difficult to do that. Just do your best. Using expensive parts, I'd be worried, but with this, this is a $40 motherboard. It's a really cheap build, so don't have to really worry about anything. I think the most Im expensive piece was the uh, hard drive, because I went good on the hard drive. I don't, I don't buy cheap hard drives. That one just fell, but I was able to find that one easily. Hmm, Intel messed up here. That is weird. I think this, uh... This is gonna scrape when it runs. That's weird. Will just wear and loosen up over time, but still, that is weird. The uh, power cable for the uh, heatsink is getting raised by the fan. I don't know why. It should be okay. But anyway, let's get back to building. I'm still trying to find that screw, but I've given up hope. It's gone. Okay, so carefully. Get it to stick as best as you can. See, now it appears to be sticking. Now I can go for it. And tighten this one in. So it seems to be going in pretty well. Which is good. Okay, next. I'm sure this real push will show up at some point. Okay, I'm going to do... Uh, this one next. Screw it in again. It's all the same, really. I know you really can't see. I'll show you in a second. And there's two more. To get the screw. The last one. But a stick. And it fell right on there, which is not good. You want to avoid doing that if you can. Okay, now stick. I just kind of push really hard until the screw kind of sticks. And then I go for it. We're going to a uh, not-so-thick handled screwdriver while doing this. This is what I have. Okay. Let's give it one more shake. If I have any idea where that screw could have bounced off to. Oh, I think I may see it. I believe I have found it. Ow, almost cut my arm, but yet yeah, I got it back. What happened was, I would have found it later if I didn't find it now. I'll show you, actually. It fell between the uh, open 5.25 inch bay, which really is just dark so you can't see it. And uh, so it fell through that and was sitting in this area up here. That's my computer, hang on. This is really disorienting for me. Okay, it was sitting in this part up here. But I found it. Okay, so as a, let's get that screw in. But uh, so what you screw into are these little. Get a better angle. There we go. You screw in. This is just really close up. Okay, what you screw into are these. Hang on. These little holes. It's too dark to really see, but 
Uh, there's a standoffs. I'll try to get a better picture, a better image later of them. Uh, where are we? My hand is there. So there's one right there. So you gotta screw into. I can get this put back where it was. Probably not now. This is gonna suck. Okay. Close enough ish. Get an idea of what I'm working on. Let's see this last screw in. Pretty boring. Uh, this is one of the most tedious parts and really not fun. Okay, let's get that part in. Okay, so that's in. We have the motherboard mounted. Uh, this is actually pretty quick. So we don't have any graphics cards or anything. Everything that's going on the motherboard is pretty much already in. So next, our, uh, next what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mount... I think I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to get the... Uh, change the angle slightly. I'm trying to get the wire to catch so it doesn't fall over. Let's go. This must be really disoriented. Go. Go. There we go. No. Too far over. There we go. I'm going to mount a fan here, I think. I believe the way it works is that air travels. Oh, I can't remember. I can look at my own fans and find out. Air travels away from the label. So label side is intake. So knowing that, do is open up a fan. That's not a fan. I should probably should mount this first. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mount the. Uh, I'm gonna have an angle for the fan. So one fan is gonna go on the uh, standard exhaust spot. A lot of cases have that already with a fan. This one just happens not to because it's such a cheap case. Fans are cheap, so it all works out. Here's a fan that came in 120 millimeter. So now it's going to open this up. Really easy to open up. Just go like that. And it's open. And it's got a little bag of screws. Let's keep that close. Uh, it's got a connector, power, and motherboard. I don't know if it needs both. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it only needs one or the other. I'm like 90% sure, so I'm going to do is mount it at the proper angle to reach what we want to reach. Actually, for this one, I'm going to plug this one directly into the uh, power supply, because this, uh, this motherboard only has one additional uh, fan spot, I believe, uh, an additional uh, case fan, which is, can't remember where, system fan, yeah, it's right there, so it has one additional one. So we're going to mount the one that we mount on the side there. I'm not going to use a bottom. Bottom. It's going to pull in the carpeting, and that's not going to be good. Uh, I think it'll be easier just to pull in from right here. Especially since it's an MATX and doesn't go down all the way. So let's uh, get this mounted. So we're going to mount it like this. This is a main label on this side. Let's mount it like this. And all you have to do is lower it into position. And just screw right into it. Shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm gonna let it rest right there. Not gonna cause any damage. Little baggy of screws. Building a computer really is fun. I'll, if you haven't done it before, I, I would say try it. If, if, if it doesn't work out, it's an experience. Uh, start out with a cheap one if you're scared. I didn't. I got lucky and didn't mess anything up. If I had, I would, I, I would feel like I would have been really pissed off, though. Really pissed off. This is not the optimal angle to be doing this with at, but uh, you got to go with what you got. Fell out. I think this feels like it's lined up. You can look. Uh, yeah. As close as lined up as it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna put it in. And with these, you really are like screwing directly into the plastic. So try to get it as straight as possible. Get it on about halfway, I'd say. Get the other one across. And as general screwing tactics go, 
they want to like screw in something all the way when you have something like this. Um, I've screwed a lot of things in my life. Trust me. If you do it wrong, and it's just gonna come back and hurt you in the end. Okay, I really can't see if that's lined up at all. Let me try to get a better angle for myself. Ow! That hurt. Pain. Okay, I'm gonna try getting lower to it. Okay, that should be lined up. So again, I'm trying to do the uh put it on the thing technique. Put it on the thing technique, that's the official name it fell off. Force it onto the head. Magn if you have a magnetic screwdriver, this would obviously make things a lot easier. And if you use the right parts if you use the right case and parts and everything, you actually do not need a screwdriver. If you use, if you have a, a toolless uh, drive system, uh, mount, drive mounting system, then you want toolless drive mounts, drive bays, whatever you want to call them. You don't need a screwdriver. And if you, uh, actually on my computer, the screws that came with the, uh, the fan didn't fit. So what I had to do was not be able to screw things in. Okay, what I had to do was I had to uh, get these uh, rubber screws. If you're some of these pieces of rubber, you pull through and they function like screws. And with my head, I can't get low enough to the ground to see if I'm actually lined up. This is really a pain with the headset on. But I will do it. I will make this work. Okay, it's in. As long as I don't let it fall out again, I'm good. I'm sure I'm gonna let it fall out again, but as long as I don't, it really doesn't make sense. So if I'm not gonna let it fall out again, oh, I'll let it fall out that time. Oh no! Don't you dare fall out on me! Don't stay, stay. I don't even see where I'm supposed to be in him too far. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this upper one because I cannot get this one for right now. Sometimes doing it cross doesn't always work. You gotta go for what might be easier. And I believe this might be easier. And a lot easier at that, not just a little. Okay, there we go. I'm lined up there. Yeah, this yeah, this thing screwed directly into plastic. It's like threading it as you screw it in, which makes it difficult to mount the fan. I'd say I uh, give if you want. I would I would recommend the uh, the rubber screws. They're really nice. Uh, don't make any noise. Don't have to tight. They're really easy to install. There's a lot of pluses. I can't think of a negative. believe my headset cut out again from lack of audio output and only input. I had a feeling it would, so I was expecting it, which made it better, but uh, I need to just change something real quick on my computer. Okay. I had a feeling it would, but when you're expecting it, it doesn't prevent it from happening. Just makes me aware of the issue. And being aware is the first step to solving. But I was aware and did nothing else, therefore it was pointless. Okay, 
area. See, I think the issue is it just does not want to go into this hole. I don't know where the hole is. Am I in? I think I should be in. I don't think I am. Really a pain. Oh, I think I actually got it. I got it! Yes! Okay, this fit's pretty much done. I forgot this ratcheted. <laughs> That's useful. And it stops ratcheting, as I say, it's useful, naturally. Just to, uh, mess with me. It legitly stopped ratcheting, as I said, it was useful. Nope, it stopped. It broke as I was using it. This feature for the first time tonight decided to stop working. Okay, it's tight. This is almost in. You couldn't tell me now, this isn't how to build a computer, this is just how I build a computer. And uh, this isn't really the best resource for using me as a resource. I'm sorry. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, I think it's entirely tight now. So I have that fan in. Um, I'm gonna think I what I'm gonna do next is mount the mount the hard drive next. I can't really decide. It's it's hard. It's, you gotta make choices. You gotta think about your choices. So what I picked up was a Western Digital uh, Caviar Blue 500 gigabyte. Ow. With uh, six gigabits per second, or gigabytes per second, not sure which. Gigabits per second uh, transfer speed. This method doesn't support it, but uh, hopefully, maybe if, if it's ever upgraded, it will. And ow, I need the case. Okay, I'm gonna open it with the scissors of opening stuff. That's a new name, scissors of opening stuff. You should get the scissors I sent deep into the. Uh, Area where the hard drive's sitting, because uh, you want to get a couple scratches in it, uh, helps. Uh, it extends your warranty. If you believe that, please just leave now. If I could put an IQ requirement on my videos to watch them, I would. Sounds mean, but I don't like stupid people. Which also sounds mean, but I feel like most people don't like stupid people. Therefore, I'm average. This tape is a real pain, though. Get off. Okay, I believe that I finally, yeah, there we go, got it open. This tape on this hard drive is a pain, so this hard drive has mounted some shocks for shipping. It can't get broken. There's some mounting screws, I'm going to keep those. Everything else can go back into the bag. I just realized I have not seen the silica gel that can't, comes with some of this stuff. There's something in here that's silica gel, and I lost it, which is kind of disturbing to me. I hope nothing gets into it, but uh, let my dog do bad. Okay, so here's a hard drive. Not take off the uh, shock mounts, put them back in the box. Another anti static bag is on this, so uh, let's open up that anti static bag. It's a nice one, you just touch the case again, make sure you're not shitty, and you just pull it open like this. Okay, slide it out. This is like the best, Western Digital is going to be like the best brand you can get. Okay, so the way this mounts in this case is stupid. No other way to put it. 
I don't even remember how. I believe it mounts me along the lines of this. No, of this. Yep. That's it. So I got some more room to push it in. This get bent? I feel like this got bent. Yep. Okay, cheap case equals bent. Okay, so it just slides in like that. This is a really weird way to mount it. Never seen anything like it before. Do not like it. Okay, let's open up the screws. Get them all out of there. Other way. Okay, I'm gonna line up the uh, screw holes. There we go. Now I'll just start screwing it in. Uh, this part, if you're done, if you go, if you've done what's up to this part of it, you should be able to do this without a problem. It's a really weird way to mount the hard drive, but it's how it's done. So what are you gonna do? And let's put it in this one. Do 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 do. And over here, when I first did this, I had it on side when I first put with this case, and that was difficult. This is a lot easier. Bam. And final screw. Put it here and screw it in. There we go. The hard drive's mounted. Uh, now just to get... We're really getting close to done. I love to say that. I'm not going to be doing uh, the operating system install in this video. It's kind of boring. Really no point. Next I'm going to do is uh, get the CD drive in, I'm going to start plugging things in, and I'll be done. So, uh, this way the case works is you brute force it off. There we go. That's really how it's done. Uh, it's just you pull the front panel off to get to expose the, uh, this. This, so you can actually mount it. This is pretty easy, too. Just grab your drive. Uh, about $17 is what you should pay for a DVD drive. Come with just plastic like this, slides right out. Really cheap, honestly. That's kind of the point. You don't need a lot. Most people, most people are just going to be installing uh, Windows and call it done. So this computer, if you, it will cost about $200 without Windows, about 300 with Windows. So it really is a great option if you want to have a budget computer. I'm going to do is pull these back through. everything back through as I put this back on. Uh, I, do, I put this back on now so I can line up the uh, so I can line the uh, whoops, forgot to set. Okay, I think I just made a mistake. Mistake number one. I'm taking this back off. Oh, that's just mistake number one. I'm gonna break this. Not on purpose, but it's gonna happen. There we go. Forgot to take out the uh this. Again, brute force it. I believe that's how I did it the one I did it the last build. I just pushed. I don't remember which way it goes out though. Maybe it goes out the other way, I really don't remember. Oh there it goes. Okay, so this is out. This is out the cover and set it with my cover for my computer. Okay, now I can just pull all these through. Uh, a little deja vu going on right now. Pull all these through, pull all these through. Line it up. I'm just feeling it this time, make sure it's good. Feels good. Okay. I'm going to position the drive so it's nice and flush. But you can't really see. Move this back farther. Okay, so it's nice and flush with the uh, front of the case. Once I have it in this desired position, I'm going to grab. Yep. 
the uh, mounting screws, which... What did I do with them? Right, this didn't come with screws. That's because it was a bare drive, which means I have to use some of the screws from the bag of screws that comes with the case. I'm so bad I lost screws that didn't even exist. Just four. I actually need six. I think I need eight. No, I need, I, I'll do four. the same kind? Yes, that's lucky. Okay, so now I'll grab the uh, screwdriver. He's going to put two on each side. I'm going to put the lower ones, I think. One thing that just doesn't really matter. Like many things, really. Let's screw it in. And I'm going to be picking up the computer off onto its uh, side, or onto, this is its side, so I'm picking it up to normal position in a, in a minute. So, that'll be interesting, and I can maybe get a better view of the insides. Use my phone as a flashlight. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and get the other side in, so, come on. Ooh, progress. Progress. See, you know, it takes a little while with a computer, but not too long, really. Okay. Put these in on this side now. A little bit tighter of a fit. I think the lower ones on that side. Yep. Whoops, just brought my mic on the uh, case. There we go. And this is now in. And the final one. It's, what time is it? Yeah, it's midnight. We are trying to build a computer, I know, but what are you going to do? I enjoy it. That's all that matters. And that's now in. Okay, so this is coming together quite nicely. Uh, we're almost done. I want to flip this around and give you a good view. Uh, all I have to do left is a wiring. So it's going to be cleanest now. It's going to be easiest to show you what it looks like now. Uh, welcome to the computer. Let me just grab my phone so I can get a light on this. Here's my phone. LED. Whoops. Wrong app. LED, there we go. So, uh, here we go. Everything that's been done so far. Kind of brightly, we go. Fainter light. My headset turned off again, but timing, okay. Anyway, so uh, that's what's been done so far. Really not too hard to do. Uh, drives up here, drive, uh, drives up here. Wait, yeah, up here. Hard drives down here. They're coming together quite nicely. Not too much more to do now. Uh, I'm going to head back on its side and get to the wiring. I think that's all I have left to do. And 
Hey, I'm back. Apparently, there's a maximum time you can record in Movie Maker, which I exceeded. And uh, so let me fill you in what you missed. I plugged this in. This thing. This funny kit, the 24 pin. That was about it. And I realized that I messed up earlier, and I can't get the uh, 4 pin connector into its slot because it fits underneath the fan. I'm going to try getting some light on it and see if that helps. So, uh, you just missed me getting mad at this. Mad at life in general. Mad at myself for being stupid. Not realizing that the connector's underneath the fan. I want to take the IO shield off, but there's no way to do that. That'd be the easiest way. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I am the best around. I got it. Okay. Don't be stupid like me. That's my advice. Okay. Fix that. Thank you. But so we exceeded the maximum time. Looks like an hour is the maximum time. That's what I've learned. Uh, anyway. An hour and like one second. Ten seconds. Whatever it was. Okay. I'm actually making much better time than I thought it would be then. So in that case, let's uh, plug in the more, some more stuff. Plug in this. Look all these extra cables. So really just look for what looks like it would fit. These are like all set up. Uh, I'm going to pull everything out so I can see better. It's just an 8-pin for a graphics card. Uh, this is a cable I need. Hmm. Can I plug both of these in? Definitely not. Okay, so I'm just going to plug the, uh, I believe this is Molex into the Molex. Except they're both male. This is the wrong kind. Or both female. I can't tell. It's late. It's past mid or it's midnight. That's a valid excuse to do whatever you want. It's late past midnight, do whatever the hell you want. I think that's how you plug it in. Honestly, cannot remember. And that would not make any sense. That's, again, the same exact thing. And I'm feeling stupid right now. I feel like I should know how to plug something in. I feel like I'm, well, I thought it was better than that. Apparently I forgot how. I see why it's, I see why it's not working. I don't understand why it's not working, if you understand what I mean. No, no, that's not going to work. Uh, maybe this is what I need. It looks the same. It's not going to help. Power. Why you no work? You're not it. You're not it's something on here, but it's not any of these. It's not any of these either. All the same. No, they're different. But not the right kind of different. That weird kind of different that you're told to stay away from. Because difference makes death. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. If I ever did, though. It's not like you ever did. I meant to say. Oh, duh, it pulls in the back. Ta da! Yay! Wait. Yay! Yay, yay? Yay, basic intelligence! I didn't even realize that. It took way too long to realize. Okay. So now that this one's here, I'm also going to try to use it as power. You want to be as, con uh, as efficient as possible with wiring. 
try to use it as power on this. Which I probably already should have plugged in, but I haven't, so now I'm gonna have to suffer. Okay, I never had a static connection ever going that easy. Success. Okay, I'm gonna get the SATA cables out now. A good time for them. Uh, these are SATA cables, if you were not aware. Went over that earlier. So if you're watching, watching this whole video, if you were not aware, then I don't think you're watching this whole video. I'm gonna use the angled one on this one. So take the angled one, plug it in here. Plug it into SATA one. Not set at two. Or not set at zero. Only set at zero for the boot drive. I don't know how much it matters. I don't really think it makes too much of a difference, but this is how I'm going to do it. Shove that up there. Just got to shove everything where it's out of the way of spinning parts. Pretty much how this is done. Okay, let's plug this SATA in. It's pretty easy. Just SATA it here. And SATA it here. So we're saying here. And that's plugged in. And next step is for more SAT, no, not power, to that one, which I'm probably going to use. Mm, not this cable four. Uh, this cable four will work. It's not this cable. It's not a four cable. And they said this cable four will work, which is not proper English in any way, shape, or form. And it's in. Wow, these setters are cooking a lot easier than they usually do for me. Setters are kind of a pain until you get used to them. The way they connect. So see, I'm just going to wrap this around and try to get this out of the way as much as possible. But what's the extra space to room? I have a lot of extra space to work with. I take advantage of that. I think all the power is plugged in already, actually. Yep. That's actually really easy. Uh, so next, I'm going to take the front I.O., which is this stuff. Undo this and just read off the motherboard where they get plugged in. This part is a little bit more difficult. If you don't have good eyesight, you can uh, use uh, the, ma the manual for the case. No, the for the not for the case for the uh, for the motherboard. But I can actually see uh, this red one is most likely going to be. HDD LED. I did not know that was that. I think it's going to be power. So we're going to find HDD LED listed on here. It goes into these little white pins. If you can't see them, that uh, doesn't really matter. And uh, the colored one is always going to be positive, and the white one's going to be negative. So HD plus minus. So the red one's going to be on the left. We just pop up. No. Okay, good. Well, I'm probably going to cut out again soon. I'm just preparing for that. Uh, this one is the reset switch. Reset plus minus. Get out of here, orange one. I don't like your kind around here. Okay, reset switch. Really hope that said reset switch. If not, we could have an issue. Okay, orange, what are you? The power switch. Can't see. All anymore. That says PW. Some issues seeing it.
think I put this one in backwards. Okay, orange. Here's the power switch. This is the most annoying part of the build, I'd say. So we make it through here. Good job. Make sure there's on the, the pluses on that side. It's just so random. All other words are different. Okay. Green, what are you? Are you the last one that gets plugged in? You are. He must be the yeah, power LED. Actually, a space between power LED plus goes over here. You know what? In retrospect, I would have done this first. This is by far the most difficult. It doesn't really matter which direction the pins are facing because they're just single pins. You just have to get it on the right pin. So that's done. I'm gonna bungee all. I'm gonna not bungee. Yes, I'm gonna bungee all of that together. Now I'm gonna uh, zip tie zip tie it all together, and uh, that should help. Where's the speaker go? I want to use a speaker. This is a speaker, just in case you didn't know that. All it does is plugs into where it says speaker. And all that does is plug in right. Okay, that's plugged in. And, uh, I think we're pretty much done. I'm not going to boot it up, but there's no reason to boot it up, but, uh, I see nothing left to do, except not that other fan, which I will do after I get some cable management going on. So, uh, I'm going to zip tie all these. I'm going to pull all these together right here with one of these. I'm going to do... Is I'm just gonna grab everything I can. A whole shabami. Yeah, that's the right word. And just pull it through like that. There we go. Just zip tie all these together. Twist tie, zip tie, same thing. I caught my hand, I think I'm like bleeding or close to, like scratched myself on something pretty sharp apparently while doing this. So, building a computer can be dangerous if you're stupid like me. And, uh, what did I do? Am I bleeding? God, what did I hit my hand on? I don't remember doing that. Ow. Anyway, uh, let's get the, uh, fan mounted. Wait, these. Forgot about these. I think these are really easy. That says USB. Plug it into USB. Yeah, F USB 1 on the motherboard. Only fits in one way. Okay, that's done. And then this one says it should be HD audio. Yep, so plug it into HD audio on the motherboard. Which is usually yep, up here. Once again, only fits in one way. Okay, so that's done. Uh, it doesn't really matter where these go. I'm just going to force them back under here. And I think everything has power. I'm going to do with this one. I just force it up into here. If you haven't noticed the theme yet, it's force. I call this a force case. The nicer the case you have, the less force you're going to have to use. Either cable lines it's going to be. But uh, with a case like this, you just go for it. Uh, let's stand it up, get the back panel on, and I think we'll be just about done. Yep. Thing looks good. Looks pretty neat in there. So what I'm gonna do is get this, uh, back panel on first. I'm really bad at putting panels on. Panels on. That's what I said the first one. I'm just repeating myself for no reason. Uh, English, I'm struggling with tonight. It's late. I've been up for...
my microphone's being a bitch. Okay. I've been up since 5 a.m., and it's now past midnight. So, if you feel like, if you feel compelled to do so, do the math and see how many hours I've been up. It's more than I should be up for. Cannot get this. I'm kind of wrestling it. Call this the, uh, the assembler. I am the assembler. Rawr. That was just stupid. Screw these on. Don't really need to see that. Kind of boring. I doubt you saw half of this, but you were here with me as I built a computer. And now, I bet you could build one too if you watch some other people have telling you how, and not just me. If I had proper equipment, I'm sure I'd be better at this, but with what I have, this is the best I can do. And that is on. Okay, next, we're going to move this out of the way. Uh, as you can see, let's click a quick look inside. Everything is pretty much complete. Let me get my light on it. I'm behind the camera for this is the best light. So you can see, everything's pretty much complete. It doesn't take too much to build a computer. I believe most of you probably could do it if you tried. And uh, what we're going to do now is mount that last fan. The last thing in the bag, I believe. Uh, let's move this out of the way for right now. Is it the last thing in here? Yes, it is. The last of it. Mounted onto this door on the lower part. So, right here. Mounted on the inside, naturally. See, that's how it looks stupid. Cable management issue. Same as the other fan, exact same model. That brand of the DVD drive, just some random DVD drive because they were out of the LGs and I didn't feel like waiting. We were there. Can you hear this? It's like flimsy. It's like it has two different lock positions. Cheap case. Okay. What we're going to do take this. I want to keep this, I'm going to undo this actually to give us the most length possible. Possible. I have about the lisp. Now what I want to do is remove that. Because we need, want to need a lot of, because this, so the other uh, fan I plugged is the exhaust. And because of that, I have to plug it directly into uh, the power supply so it's always on. This one's going to be in the motherboard itself, so it only goes on when it needs the extra to keep it cool. Which I think is a better idea. Uh, so it's going to intake mounts like that as we went over earlier. So if you remember anything, remember intake goes like that. And because intake goes like that, you mount it like that. So the air comes through like that. You have to find the holes. And you have to get the screws out. Little baggy again, I've got a little baggy. Just pour the screws out right here, into the bag. And we're mounting it on this one down here. Could be something majorly wrong. Mounting it down here, as I was saying. Down here. Whoops, yeah, I'm going to damage the computer before it's been turned on for the first time. Well, that's convenient, use a little rest. Use gravity and physics to my advantage. Doing this by yourself is difficult. That's, like, I, hate, I really don't like the mounted fans. But I felt like in this case it was the best option. 
Normally, I don't think it would be. But I think this is a special case. Special case, you get it? It's a case. It's a computer case. Ha! Huh, and I just dropped another screw to my crotch area. Take the screwdriver and drive. Okay, next screw. It's easier the more you have in there. Okay, my energy really has dropped by this point. I'm going to screw on my crotch. I keep getting screwed. The crotch. This is close for most people for be screwed. What did I do to my hand? God. It's not screwing in. There it goes. Now it's screwing in. Okay, I get the last screw in and tighten them up. I'm almost done with this. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Had fun. This case is kind of annoying to build, though. Yeah, for uh, two hundred dollars, it's a great PC to build. So if you, uh, the full specs will be in the description. So if you want to, uh, so for two hundred dollar PC, that's going to be uh, I don't know games, but it's going to be a great like work or education PC. Uh, let me know. Okay, now I'm just going to mount this on here. I'm just going to make it easy on myself. I'm not like, okay, yeah, I'll try to show you, I guess. But it's so much more work to try to show you. I'm just going to mount it on there. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm taking this plug here, the one of the 4-pin variety. This is a 4-pin, by the way, not the big one, this one. Plug it into the motherboard. Or the uh, four pin slot that I showed you earlier is. Okay, that's in there. The case it doesn't have such limited reach. But uh, now I'm just going to put it on. And I'll be done. The computer will be done. And I believe that's correct. I guess I can power it up, make sure everything sounds good. Uh, just knocked you over. Sorry, guys. Hi. Let's write out the case. Crotched myself again. Or screwed myself with the crotch, sorry. Crotched myself. What I'm saying is that. Launch brew in there we go. And it looks like it's done. I want to plug it. I don't have a really I've not open plug. I'll have to unplug something to plug it in. It's a lot of work. I'm gonna use Use like a one of those one of the twist type things to actually close the bag of screws off. It actually worked. Okay, you know what? I'll plug it in. Just for the hell of it. I really don't see a place to plug it in, though. Don't want to be powering two computers off of the same plug. That seems like a bad idea to me. Ah. Okay, there a plug. I don't even know where an outlet is. There might be an outlet behind this. Might. Nope. 
You know what, screw it. I'll do what I said I don't want to do. We don't know what to unplug. I'll unplug. I don't know what to unplug. Never mind. That's easy. Easy choice. I thought I'm going to overload this, but I don't care. Ow. Hit my head three times. For good luck. Okay, that's way more than three. Again. Again. Ow. Two more times. Okay, watch my computer crash and lose everything. That'd be hilarious. How does it boot the computer? Not plugged in, it's gonna start up. Something's scraping. Sounds fine. Okay, so that's the computer. Built. Built. It was pretty epic, actually. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you want to try building a uh, budget PC, uh, here's my PC. My actual PC. Green lights on. Green lights on top. Put this thing in the way that I moved over there. Green lights on top. Blue in the front, inside. You've seen it before. Okay, uh, thanks again for watching. This has been Armada 120, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, how to build, uh, not how to build, I didn't show you how, I just put together PC. Uh, me building a PC. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, I'm not the right kind of person for that, but uh, if you want to see more of me, let me fix the camera so you can see me. If you want to see more of me, subscribe. That's a good way to do it. And like the video. Leave a comment. Interact with me. Interact. Interact. I want to grab your face. What did I do to my hand? Do you see this? I bet the light is. That scratch. Interpret the light. See that scratch? What the hell did I do? Anyway, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. And goodbye. That's creepy goodbye. There you are.